What's going on, everybody? And I hope you're enjoying your hump day Wednesday so far. This is MYG Jeffy T85 here. And I'm going to talk about my favorite player on the New York Giants. Has been my favorite player on the New York Giants for literally the past seven years. But this could finally be the end of this tenured player. The longest tenured player on the New York Giants. One of only two draft picks that were re-signed by the team to second deals since 2011. And that, of course, is the second round pick at pick number 40 back in 2016. Everybody knows him as Young Shep, Sterling Shepard. Whom, according to Dan Dugan, had his... He's now officially a free agent after... He had the three, had he, after he had his contract voided last year during the pay cut that he took with the New York Giants after he came back from Achilles tendon injury that he suffered last year against the Rams. <clears throat> and he's going to be carrying a $4.3 million dead cap charge for 2023 with Shepard not on the books. Shepard is now officially an unrestricted free agent as of today. Here's the thing. Shepard is coming off his second straight major injury. He ended up tearing his ACL back in the game against the Dallas Cowboys on the last play of the game. When Daniel Jones threw that interception, Sterling Shepard was literally walking down the field and tore his ACL. And he missed the rest of the season. But Shep was still showing his value to the organization organization who pretty much he could have stayed off to the side and continue to rehab but Shep continued to stay on the sidelines and be a mentor and a coach to this team on the sidelines and show his presence with this team here's the thing though this is a very tricky situation with him because <clears throat> Shepard is now 30 years old he's coming off two major injuries he has no value right now in terms of the free agent market. The question with the Giants right now is, and with your fans, because a lot of fans have felt there's a certain way about Shep that they think it's time to move on. Part of me agrees with them that I think it's time to move on for the seven-year player on this team. But at the same time, you talk about continuity. You talk about leadership. You talk about locker room presence. There is nobody that has been a bigger locker room presence with this team than Sterling Shepard. And with the fact that he's coming off a major injury and he's at no value, no value going into the offseason. I think he's more valuable to the Giants than he is any other organization. And I'm not just saying this as a fan. I think his value to the Giants is more important than any other team. But does Joe Shane believe that? And Joe Shane even said in his press conference, Sterling Shepard is one of his favorite players on the team. He loves Shep. The organization loves Shep. Sterling Shepard is very, very close with quarterback Daniel Jones and running back Saquon Barkley. All three of them have been here since 2018, since the beginning with this team. They have been through the struggles with this organization. And right now, both Jones, Barkley, and Shepard are all free agents. The three core players of this team. What does it take? Joe, what is Joe Shane willing to do to bring back a player like Sterling Shepard? How much does he value him? His play is declining. He's injured pretty much every single season since he signed that extension back in 2019. Every single year Shepard has played, he's been hurt. That's the biggest problem with Shepard. We all know when this guy gets on the field, he's productive. He's played very well when he's on the field. He's a great blocker. He's still the best blocking receiver on this team. He's dependable over the middle of the field. He makes tough contested catches. He's a yak guy. He's a guy that moves the chains. A third in Shep, that's what people called him. The one bugaboo for this guy for the past four years has been injuries. Whether it was 2019 with the concussions that he suffered, two of them. 2020 where he ended up missing four weeks due to plantar fascia in his foot. Last year, 
due to the Achilles tendon injury, and he had a he had a, he had a multiple injuries last year. He had a hamstring injury and an Achilles tendon injury, and then last year, this past season with the ACL. That is the one reason why it is makes sense for the team to move away from Shep. But at the same time, like I said, some players are more valuable to the team than what he does on the field. They sometimes transcend transcend the value in the organization. And we all know the Giants badly need wide receiver help. Richie James is also a free agent this offseason. Darius Slayton is a free agent this offseason. Isaiah Hodgins, who you can be, he's going to be here in his next year. How is he going to be able to build up? Kenny Galladay is most likely going to get cut this offseason. But I have to ask you right now, who is your leader on this team? Who is your veteran player in this receiving core? If you bring in a bunch of young guys, this is what I would honestly do. I would bring back Sterling Shepard on a one-year deal, lowest value, because he has no value on the open market. Give him a deal. Pretty much like, you know, a prove-it deal. Maybe like a million dollars. Minimum, the league minimum you can give him. Put him on IR or PUP at the beginning of the season. Let him get right. You don't have to worry about a roster spot. You keep him on the team. He could still be around the organization and be a coach on this team, a mentor. He's not going to cost much at all. And you get him back when he's 100% healthy and he can go out there and he can be a late season acquisition for this team when he comes off injured reserve or the pup list. And you're getting a player of Sterling Shepard's caliber back on this team. It's really, in my opinion, a win-win situation. Honestly. Because I do believe when you're somebody at his age, 30 years old, two major injuries in back-to-back seasons, played your entire career with one team, do you really want to just make money a sticking situation? And I do believe the Giants will want him back. I do. I honestly believe the team will want him back. But at their price. If he starts wanting to command a little bit more money than he thinks he's worth, the Giants will let him go. But, really? It makes too much sense why you would bring him back. It makes sense why you wouldn't too because of the injury situation. But I'm talking about this. You lower When he comes back from injury, you don't need to play this guy a full complement of snaps. You put him in there on certain situations. You know, you don't have to play him a full complement of snaps. You put him out there, you know, for half the snaps overall. And you let him go out there and do his thing. And you keep him in the organization. I honestly think it's a win-win situation bringing him back. He's not going to command anything on the open market. Let's just be honest. What, what team is going to pay Sterling Shepard the kind of money that he's going to want in the off, in the off season? Who? Who is going to pay Sterling Shepard the money that he may be looking for this offseason? I don't think any team is. What team out of their right mind is going to pay for a 30-year-old wide receiver who has been injured the past four seasons, including the past two seasons where he has torn his Achilles tendon last year and his ACL this past season? No team is going to want to give him money. And like I mentioned... Some players just have more value being in the organization than just their on-field play. And Sterling Shepard is that guy. The fact that this dude went on the sidelines, he traveled the week he got hurt against the Packers. He traveled to London and was on the sidelines with that team. He was a coach pretty much the entire rest of the season Even after he had surgery, he was still there with the team. The entire season, you saw his presence on the sideline. And that means a lot for some of these younger receivers that need a veteran like Shepard to learn from. To me, that screams value. That screams leadership. That screams a guy that wants to be a New York Giant. 
And with him not having any value on this free agent market, I don't see any reason why it is the worst thing in the world to bring back Shep on a one-year deal for the league minimum. You stash him on injured reserve or pup to begin the season, get him to 100%. And if he doesn't, if he's not able to come back, you IR him for the rest of the season. But you know what? He's still part of the team. And you can go out there and you can get more wide receivers. You can get a young receiver and you have Shep there to mentor him. Including Wantel Robinson too, who is also coming off an ACL injury. And that's another thing you got to think about too. Daniel Jones will probably be back. Who is his wide receiver is he going to be throwing to? Richie James is a free agent. Slayton is a free agent. Have to think that both those guys might not be back. Wondell Robinson is coming off an ACL injury. He got injured later in the season than Shep did. I don't expect him to be back until middle of next year. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world, honestly, to bring back a player who has meant so much to this organization and has been here through the down times than Sterling Shepard has. I really don't. I get it. The injuries are a problem. And that is the one reason why I would let him go. Because you cannot rely on this guy. But at the same time, do you really have to rely on him as much as you have had in the past? You bring him back as a bit player. You bring him back as a guy that is a depth receiver on this team. And you keep him around the organization as a leader, as a coach, as a locker room presence. That we all talk about continuity. We all talk about leadership. We all talk about locker room presence. Having guys be giants for life. This is your guy right now. He is the longest tenure guy on this team. He is a giant. Bring him back. It doesn't hurt. If he wants too much money, let him go then. But I really honestly don't believe it's the worst thing in the world to bring back a player that has meant so much to this organization for seven years and let him play out the rest of his career in blue. Who even knows? This next season could be his last. He is going to be 30 years old coming off two major injuries. But just in my opinion... And you guys could disagree with it. I understand a lot of people want to move on from Shep, but there's a lot of people out there that want this guy back because of how valuable and how much he means to this organization. And especially with the fact that your quarterback and your running back with the two biggest free agents on this team are very close with him. And they will vouch for Shep to get back here on this team. They will make sure that Shane, who is also very fond of him, Mara loves him, Everybody in this organization loves Shep. Really? Unless the money is too out of control, I don't see any reason why you don't bring this guy back on this team. You reduce his role. You put him on injured reserve or pup if he's not ready, which most likely he won't. Get him healthy. Then you bring him back during the season. And you have yourself an acquisition of Sterling Shepard's caliber on this team. But you guys let me know in the comment section what you think. If you think I'm out of my mind saying that Sterling Shepard, he's already going to be costing you $4.3 million in dead cap space at this point. Why not bring him back at this point? Why not? But you guys let me know in the comment section what you think. If you would bring back Shep as a depth wide receiver on this team for more than just his on-field play or if you would officially move on from the longest tenured New York Giant. You guys let me know in the comments section. Oh, and as well, hit that like button. Turn on the bell for notifications for the next video or short dropping on the channel. And like I said, let me know in the comments section if you agree or disagree with my takes when it comes to Shep and if you would bring him back on a reduced deal. On a minimum deal for one year just to have his presence back in the locker room and how much he would mean to the organization to keep him here, part of this team, as the longest tenured giant. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great rest of your hump day Wednesday. Take it easy, and as always, let's go New York football giants. Together, Blue, everyone.